friends, my name is Anna Venga. I'm a sophomore here at Central College, and today for our Lent Devo, we'll be reading from John chapter 12, verses 1 through 12. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests had made plans to kill Lazarus as well, for on account of him, many of the Jews were going over to Jesus and believing in him. The next day, the great crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. Now, I feel pretty familiar with this passage. I've read it quite a few times, especially as we're coming into the Lenten season. But I feel like we need to, like, just really dive in um, to stories that we're familiar with because God always reveals something new, even if it seems small. So I want to focus on a few small things because while they seem small, they're pretty big. Um, the first thing I wanted to look at is Mary anointing Christ's feet. And... This is just, it's always stuck out to me and I just feel like it's just a huge reminder. Um, but, so Mary is using this nard that is really expensive and Judas goes on to say that it's worth like a year's wages. And as Jesus said, this nard would have been used to anoint his body when he died. Um, and this was a thing that they would do in the Jewish culture where they would anoint bodies with this perfume um, and it's expensive perfume so that when they prepare the body, it won't smell when it's decomposing and then they can spend time with it. Um, and that's just huge. It's showing um, Mary's humble devotion towards Christ and she's doing it without asking first to see, hey, like asking a buddy, like, hey, Judas, is this, is this okay for me to do? She's just doing it because she knew it was the right thing to do to show Christ that she, she loves him. And then the other thing that I wanted to look at is Judas. So he's using this money for his own gain. He doesn't actually care about the poor. And so Christ says, the poor are always going to be here, but I will not. And that just brings a lot of conviction for me. I, I do a lot with Urban Bike Ministry and I try to do as much as I can in the community to help those who are um, not as privileged as I am. And it's just a lot of conviction because it's, it's just questioning what are your um, intentions behind this? Because you can always give to the poor. They're always going to be here. And Christ is not saying don't give to the poor. Don't serve those who aren't as privileged as you are. But he's saying that I am, I'm not going to be here forever to them. And of course, Jesus has already died and he's already rose um, at our time. But we need to be making sure we're spending time with him. Like, of course, we're going to go and serve. And God calls us to serve. But we need to be making sure that we're serving for God's glory, not for our own pride, like what Judas would have been doing. He wants us to do it for his glory. Um, so, of course, ask for him to put those, those opportunities in your path, but make sure you're spending time with Christ. And that's been a really, like, huge part of conviction in my life recently, so just reading this, it's been huge. Um, God is calling me to spend time with him as much as I can. When you have a free second, get in your Bible. When you have a free second, go pray. And it's like... Trying to seek Christ in those quiet moments in our lives, like when we're walking to class or we're in our car, he's there. God is constant and he's always present and he wants to spend time with you. So I just pray that all of us, after reading this passage, can see that while God is present, we need to be spending time with him in that present moment. Um, and just like acknowledge him and say like, even if it's small, like, hey God, the stars are really pretty right now. Or like actually asking for things in your life, like he's always there and he's always going to be there. So this life is short and this life should be lived for God. And I just pray that we can keep living for him. So let's pray real fast and then I'll let you go. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time in your word today. Um, I thank you for pointing out those little things that we might have just brushed past and not looked into. And I just pray that we can um, keep finding you in the little in the little moments. Um, I pray that we can keep praising you for the little things that you do in our lives and just for your glory. Um, just seeing your star, the stars in the sky that you put there, the beautiful sunrise, nature, and just seeing you through our friends. And I pray that um, when you give us experiences in our lives, opportunities to serve you, that we don't use it for our own pride, that we use it for you um, and to give you the glory. It's none of the work here that we do is for us. It's all for you, God. And I just pray that we can keep working to build your kingdom. Um, and I just pray that we can remember the sacrifice that Christ had for us. He lived on earth to show us how to live a perfect life. He died on that cross for our sins. And then three days later, he rose. Um, from the dead and 40 days later he ascended to heaven and through that our sins are cast aside and we get eternal life through the sacrifice of your son and i just pray that we can keep remembering that through the lenten season and just keep giving you the glory and keep searching out for your love every single day god um i praise you and i thank you for this time and it's in your son's holy name that we pray amen thank you guys